This is going to be a quick video that outlines how to use your calculator to do calculations with numbers in scientific notation. Uh, overall, this is a simple task. However, I think there are some very simple mistakes students make uh, that get them into a little bit of trouble. Uh, namely, if you enter the number in incorrectly, the calculator is going to misinterpret what you are trying to say, and as a result, it could potentially give you the wrong mathematical answer. We want to make sure that you are speaking in the language the calculator uses so that the numbers you enter in are processed properly and your calculator gives you accurate, reliable results. So we'll start by working with a number that's very simple. We'll think 2 times 10 to the 20th. I think a very uh, common way that if you don't think about this, the way that people would enter this in is they would enter it in as exactly as the number sounds. 2 times 10 carat 20. <clears throat> and your calculator will spit something out along the lines, and that very much looks like scientific notation in the way that we've been working with it. Unfortunately, this is incorrect. Your calculator is interpreting this information up here as a calculation problem. Your calculator expects to do math, whereas you're intending to tell your calculator that you're dealing with a number. Uh, and as a result, it's going to have some confusion in terms of order of operations. It's going to take that 10 to the 20, and it could potentially associate it with other numbers as opposed to the one that you're trying to, uh, as opposed to the two that you're trying to associate it with. So we need to speak in the calculator's language and enter it in a way that the calculator is going to understand. So this again, this keystrokes, this set of keystrokes here is the wrong way to get about doing the job. I'm going to clear that out. I'm going to clear out my calculator. And then we're going to try this again and entering things in properly. The button you want to be using is this button right here, the comma button. And if you look above it, you've got the symbol EE. -E. That EE -E is the button your calculator uses to interpret numbers in scientific notation. So to enter that in properly, then that same number, 2 times 10 to the 20th, we'd enter in 2 and then we'd hit second comma and as a result we get that little e there and that little e means times 10 to the so the only part we have to add in left is what the actual exponent is which in this case is the number 20 so this now is 2 times 10 to the 20th the way your calculator understands it if you enter in these numbers in this fashion to second comma to get the e button and then the exponent of 20 you will always 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 get accurate answers out now, if you want to use this in actual mathematics, this process is very simple. Let's take that 2 times 10 to the 20th, and let's multiply it by 100. So now we get 2 times 10 to the 20th times 100. When I hit enter, it'll give me 2 times 10 to the 22nd. Multiplying by something by 100 should add in two more zeros to the end of the number, which means our exponent is going to move out two more times, and we get 22nd instead of 20. The reason I did this is I wanted you to notice right here that when you do this, um, the calculator spits out the answer in scientific notation and it spits it out with that E symbol. And then you need to recognize that that E therefore means 2 times 10 to the 20 seconds. You should be able to translate that back. Aside from that, as long as you're using the E function, there's really no tricks here. Uh, every type of calculation, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, all works the same way it worked with numbers in standard notation. Uh, it's simply in the matter of fact of just uh, interpreting the answer with the correct formatting to write this as 2 times 10 to the 22nd.